Another one! As a longtime predecessor to the Chihuahua, the Audeli Penguin is unreasonably on edge at all times. Weighing up to 18 pounds, which is a cool 7 on the puntable scale, they're relatively small for being an Antarctic hunter. Now while I could go on about how Adeli penguins eat krill, dive down 560 feet or swim up to 9.3 miles per hour, Alright, there we go. It's much more interesting to talk about the rather controversial behaviors of this goober. Let's start off easy. Nest building is to the Adeli like chair toilets are to gamers. Necessary for survival. The male bird on its conquest to bust a fat one will venture far out into the unknown to pick up pebbles for his creation. Unlike traditional nests, Adelis use only rocks for construction, cause I mean just look at Antarctica, do you see a damn tree? Now since these trips are exhausting, competitive, and dangerous, this Adeli right here has decided to resort to a different strategy. He sits patiently as he scouts his fellow peers. And there it is, an Adeli penguin leaving his nest. As the unsuspecting penguin waddles off to find more rocks, this Adeli will swoop in and take a rock. Or two. Or three. Now when the victim returns, one of two things will happen. One, he won't notice and the robbery was a success. Or two, he gets the shit slapped out of him. Learning from this, thieving Adelis began to steal from the nest on the outside of the colony. Masking in with the honest penguins, they steal stones in broad daylight. Matter of fact, they're in 4K. But since there's so many penguins waddling around, the nest owner can't even figure out who's doing it. Basically, the exterior penguins have to deal with harsher climate, giant baby-eating birds, and food. Now for the penguins that chose to get out of the hood, they will attract a mate and have a surprisingly wholesome relationship. After mating and shooting two eggs out of their ass, the penguins will take turns sitting on their ass to incubate their eggs. Every 12 days when they alternate, they will gift a few pebbles as a solidification of their love. Compared to the fuck you I'm gone parenting style of the emperor penguin, Adelis are actually kinda considerate. Anyways, penguin prostitution has been recorded in both single and coupled Adelis. Females will walk up to a male, most likely one with a loving, loyal wife, and bob their head seductively. The male penguin, upon seeing this, will lose all sense of control. I'm talking saliva dripping out the mouth, eyes rolled all the way back, heavy duty flex tape brick in the trousers type of uncontrolled. After all said and done, the female penguin will take a pebble from his nest and waddle away, leaving the male penguin to deal with his divorce papers all by himself. In some cases, female Adelis will just take a rock without even doing anything. And then finally, after all the troubles with predators, thieves, and temptations, an Adelie egg will hatch, bestowing upon the Antarctic a big blob of fluff. Within 9 weeks this blob will be ready for the sea, and within 3 years will return to the breeding grounds as antisocial, horny, immoral monsters. Young penguins without any social experiences will not understand how to breed in a lot of ways. Here's a list of everything they do. What's that? I missed a couple. Oh, yeah, they also do these things. This information was so disturbing that it was hidden from the public for over a hundred years. But like, honestly, can you even blame them? On the bright side, this dumbassery can sometimes be beneficial. Adelis often challenge larger predators, which helps protect their colonies and even other species. Roll the clip. Oh, shit. Uh <coughs> Anyways, as you can see, the emperor penguin chicks are being threatened by a giant petrel, the scariest of all birds. Besides this one, just look at it biting the baby's neck. The penguin leader sacrifices himself to protect the gang, while this big ass penguin is in the back just chilling. And boom, an Adeli appears out of thin air. The petrel sees it and is like, oh shit, and then they just sit there for a little bit. Damn, this shit is awkward as fuck. I'm out of here. Unfortunately, this behavior can sometimes cause issues for the Adelis. Journals from the 1910 British Antarctic Expedition detailed the Delhi penguins waddling up to their aggressively barking dogs. After crossing the no-no zone, the dogs charged forward in an attempt to attack them. But guess what? Mans didn't even flinch. Instead, he squawked angrily as if he didn't weigh 18 pounds. Oh, so you want to bark at me? I'm not scared of you, bucko. You better get out of here before me and the gang fuck you up. <laughs> Did you just kill my friend? I'ma come over there and fuck you up. <laughs> Did you just kill two of my friends? If you think fighting an aggressive husky is crazy, then let me introduce you to the world of their migration. Basically, in Antarctica, the sun doesn't give a fuck and disappears for months on end.
I'm over here stroking my dick. But since everyone's afraid of the dark, they'll chase the sun all year long, traveling back and forth between their breeding colonies and winter foraging grounds until they've amassed a whopping 8,000 miles. For reference, the length of Russia from west to east is 5,600 miles, meaning these penguins' migration is around 1.4 Russia's long. That's just crazy.